This is the U7 Rex series model. All stainless steel anti-corrosion with 12 liter tank. Here is the air inlet port. This is the air valve or also known as the control valve. This is the air regulator and its pressure regulating gauge. This is the pressure release port or drain port. And down here we have the outlet pressure port. This is the outlet pressure gauge. This is the isolation valve which is used to hold pressure for the required time. Up here we have the pressure release valve, which is used to drain the pressure after each test. This is the sight level of the liquid tank. Before doing a pressure test, let's make sure we have the tank filled with water or any other fluid. The cap has a breather and vent hole. Then we proceed to connect our air adapter. It can be any other type of adapters. We also proceed to connect our test hose adapter. You can use any other type of adapters or also quick connectors like these. Just make sure it is compatible to your pressure test resistance. Before connecting the air hose, make sure the air valve is closed. And then we connect our pressure test hose. Before starting your first pressure test, make sure the regulator is closed. By closing it counterclockwise. Make sure the pressure release valve is also closed. And then we open the isolation valve. Then we open the air valve or control valve. And we open the regulator little by little and we will hear each cycle of the pumping. Then the adjusted air will be reflected on the air pressure gauge. Then we'll see the output pressure start to increase on the test pressure gauge. Well, I am doing a 5,000 PSI test just for demonstration. If your requirement is to hold the pressure at zero leakage at a time of 5 to 15 minutes, for example, I would... to 15 minutes, for example. Then we close the isolation valve to keep the pressure isolated. From the injection point... To the pumping system in case you have a pressure chart recorder either mechanical type or digital type then you only want to monitor the pressure of the test object and not the pumping system that's why we close the isolation valve so that it does not affect the test in case the system has any leaks or or imperfections you can also operate the system in fixed mode. This is by regulating the air to 100 PSI, for example, and only controlling it with the air valve or control valve.
Once the required time of your test has elapsed, we then proceed to release the pressure by opening the relief valve until we have zero pressure again. We close it again, and then open the isolation valve. And in this way we are ready for our next test. This equipment is designed only for injecting pressure and not for filling. So before activating this equipment, the object to be tested must already be filled with liquid. If the object is small volume, no more than 3 liters, then it does not need to be filled. These models are for hydrostatic testing, with a wide variety of fluids, such as water, hydraulics, oils, and many more. For this video, we use the U7 model, 103 Rex of the U7 Rex series, with a maximum pressure of 10,000 PSI. This series also offers multiple models with a wide range of pressures from 500 PSI up to 60,000 PSI and multiple flow injection volumes per minute. I recommend you get the model only that is within your testing range. This is to reduce the waiting time to reach the desired pressure. The higher the pressure of the equipment, the longer the waiting time to reach the desired pressure. Waiting time to reach the desired pressure, this will give more life to your equipment. 